Even this Congress, there have been many times where um, certain members of leadership have said, hey, let's suspend the 72-hour rule and just move forward with this. And because we have conservatives on the House Rules Committee, they say, no, we fought too hard to make sure that we get this right. I think the American people were the big winners, right? You, you now have a, a better ability to see the bills, you know, with the requirement that you have 72 hours. That, that rule is really for them. Now, I know people think, that's ridiculous, only 72 hours? You guys should have weeks to read the bill. Listen, I know if you gave some of my colleagues a year to read these bills, they wouldn't read them, even if they were one page. But the American people can read the bill. They can call their congressman and tell them what's in the bill if the congressman doesn't know, or how it would affect them in the real world. Every member up here in the House of Representatives represents approximately 750,000 people. I don't care if you've been here one day or 20 years, you represent the same number of people, so your voice should be the same, regardless of seniority. That's what the new rules do. By allowing anybody to offer an amendment to a bill after it's come out of committee, and then in the Rules Committee, we take a look at it. We say, is this germane? But if somebody is genuinely trying to improve the bill with an amendment, then we think they should get a vote on the floor of the House. And then they either carry the day or they don't. But they get their vote and they get a recorded vote. We've diffused power away from the center. There's more, more opportunities to participate. Because of the rule changes, your member of Congress, your representative, actually has more of an opportunity than ever before to bring something to the floor, debate it. People say, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Well, guess what? We don't control the Senate and we don't have the White House. So at this moment, the best thing we can provide uh, the American people is transparency. The process now is, is something that you can follow. Your congressman can't hide behind an omnibus vote. They can't say, well, I didn't like this, but I had to vote for that because it had this other thing in it. One of the things that I can ask for, because I'm no longer a member of Congress, pick up the phone and do two things. Call some of the 20 to let them know that you appreciate the fact that they were willing to stand up at great personal cost. Some of these people will go home because they're in marginal districts. They will get an ad run against them that will be well-funded. They were willing to do that. And the other is, is if your member was not uh, part of the 20, kindly, respectfully call them and just say, you know, we want a more open process that represents our voice. Please make sure that you support future rule changes that do exactly that. I can't tell you how impactful it is when constituents call my office, when they send messages, when they write letters and emails. We read these. The American people have much more impact on this body than they think or understand. If they call, these guys and gals listen. I've been here repeatedly uh, when things have occurred from the outside that moves people on the inside. And so my encouragement to the American people is, use your voice. I promise you, members listen. I'm glad that we took a little extra time to make sure that we got this right. I believe that he is a stronger, more effective speaker today than he would have been without these changes. The speaker's deal, tremendous victory. But it's kind of like you got that victory, what are you gonna do with it now? So what happened in the speaker's fight set the stage for the next big battle, which was the debt ceiling. And that served as a healthy reminder that the rules themselves didn't magically fix everything in Washington. But for the first time in years, they've allowed the people to have a voice in the process, and now we have to try to keep it that way. This place has a default position that it wants to spring back to at all times, but this is gonna be a 24 7, 365 day effort to keep this on track. Kevin will come and go, Chip Roy will come and go. Our job is to try to create an institution uh, that we pass down to the next Congress that reflects our founding principles and empowers them to uh, fight for their constituents.